think it's absolutely ridiculous someone would drive an hour and a half from Oakville uh, that previously this uh, Mr. Benoit is it or Benoit uh, that he has hate videos about Rob Ford he's showing himself driving down the street with a microphone in one hand a video on the other complaining about Rob Ford but here or there he travels all the way there walks into their campaign office we have a lot of seniors making phone calls a lot of women in there making phone calls uh, he was asked to leave he left two minutes later he comes back and uh, then uh, he was asked for a second time to leave he left the third time he came back uh, he put a mask on Rob Ford mask uh, came in scared the heck out of uh, everyone a 60 year old man had to step up for the plate I congratulate them for doing that. They walk outside, pushing match happens. We have a video of this guy jumping on our 60-year-old campaign uh, office person's back, getting him down, laying him the boots, and then he hops in the car, this guy, takes off, we call the police, the police catch him a couple blocks away, and our guy's getting charged? Yeah. Some, something is wrong. But in the video, video that it shows to show the campaign worker. Yeah, well, he shoved he, he, he shoved him out of the office. I guess a, a shoving match happened because he didn't see clearly what, what happened. Everything seemed to uh, go a little blank there, but we have clear uh, security evidence. He has the guy on the ground laying on the boots. But it looks in the video, and we yeah. haven't seen your video yet, but it looks yeah. in the video uh, of the masked person yeah. that the 60-year-old volunteer kicks him video yet, but it looks yeah. in the video uh, of the masked person yeah. that the 60 year old volunteer kicks him and the camera out of his hand, which yeah. means that's assault. If he took the yeah. first kick, that's assault. Well, the rest of the argument I always, is I always say, let's, let's just take a look at the video and let's uh, see what happened. And I can say, I haven't heard, seen the, our video yet, but once I, I do see it, I trust our campaign people in there. Uh, my question is, What's this guy doing stalking a campaign? We don't play those games. Uh, is he an independent contractor? Or has he been contracted by another campaign? That's the question. And uh, for so, someone so to go So you're raising a, a conspiracy theory here. Well, it's not conspiracy. Is this guy an independent contractor? Then he decides to go on his media tour that night, running around all the media. Then he does his media tour this morning. Uh, question this guy. Look mm -hmm. on to his... Yes, absolutely. Has your campaign shared it with the police? Uh, we did, and uh, what I understand, they didn't watch it. So let's find out what happened. So you stand behind them. You stand behind them. I never, I never, I love our police, but uh, did they, uh, did they get it wrong this time? Absolutely, they got it wrong. So you stand behind the volunteer. Not only do I stand behind them, I support them. We're standing up, uh, protecting uh, women and seniors from some guy that wants to come in and, and scare the crap out of them, try to intimidate them. Um, that's that's what I'm. Uh, I'm concerned about people doing that. Imagine we had this happen on every single campaign, that people will go in there and start intimidating these volunteers that come in to volunteer their, their time uh, for democracy that we all believe in, and you have these intimidators come by, and then he goes on his uh, media tour, something's wrong with this come character. By, and then he goes on his uh, media tour, something's wrong with this character. Why wouldn't the volunteer? Why wouldn't the volunteer just simply call the police? And does it call yeah. into question the volunteer's judgment? Like, are you concerned Cynthia, about your volunteer's Cynthia, judgment here? I can't believe you're twisting this, but I'll go with your twist anyways. This is a 60-year-old man came in to volunteer his time to make phone calls to help out on a campaign. Next thing you know, he's getting the boots. He's been jumped on. I don't think so. It's not going to work this time, the twist. Is there still, no, I'm not trying yeah. to twist it. Is there still, is there still a sign outside your office? The last time I was there, it clearly says no uh, cameras allowed yeah. or video yeah. cameras. Well, is it still yeah, there? Yeah, there, there is. And, and what I understand, you, you go into any, any place, some guy comes railing through the city hall and gets told to leave three times and then comes